So this one was a huge challenge. So as you can see, it's a 3D freestanding. Well, the illusion is that it's freestanding. Um, Range Rover type vehicle requested by the customer for her dad, Philip. Um, if you can see by my hand, you can't really tell, but it's size wise, it's uh, very big. <laughs> so for this one, I've had to uh, again make a custom frame. So the board at the bottom um, and then a board that the cake actually sits on is then if you can see underneath, we've got four uh, wooden dowels supporting the board that the cake itself is on. And then I've built the cake up on that board. I hate doing 3D car cakes because the shape of the body and the wheels and everything has to be spot on to get it to get it to look right. Um, I'm pretty pleased with how this one's turned out. It took a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, and <laughs> I won't be doing another one in a hurry. But the whole of the 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 cake is um, the whole of the car is cake. There's no internal uh, board or anything, so you can cut right into it. Everything's edible. The wheels are made out of fondant and just stuck on with some royal icing. Um, you can see the detail in the uh, in the tire itself. Then we've got these side bits which are fondant, spare tire at the back. It took a lot of patience. Uh, and then all the little details, the lights, everything, the personalised number plate. And if you get it just at the right angle, like that, say, it looks like it's sort of supporting itself. So, yeah. I had, um, I'll just show you, I had pictures the whole time I was doing it right by my side of um, a similar vehicle to work from just to make sure I was following the body shape and getting all the details on that makes it look like that specific vehicle so um, I covered it all in blue fondant and then Put the top on because the, this particular vehicle had a, a white roof so then i added that after i trimmed it with some blue trim just to to get it to match and then sort of with my modeling tool and fingers sort of made the edges sharper and then went round with the modelling tool to sort of indent all the lines. And it's those little details that are crucial when doing a, a car cake. To make it look realistic anyway. Just to make it pop. And not just sort of like covered in fondant. And then you're left with your, your rounded edges. So it's, it's important, I find, when doing a more realistic car cake to, to get the, the edges and the lines. So, yeah, I love how it just looks like it's supporting itself. Pleased with that. It is, uh, it is huge. You can't really tell. My hand makes it <laughs> not look that big, but it is. It's, it's a big cake and it weighs a ton. Spare tyre on the back, so I just did five tyres all the same. Can see I've put the, uh, the tire marks on the outside. It's all the little details I find, the little bits that brings a cake like this to life. Getting as much detail on as you can without going crazy. 
So yeah, that's that's my 3D freestanding car cake Range Rover type vehicle. I've just decorated the board with um, a thin, thin sheet of fondant and then just gone over with some edible paints, a bit of black and a bit of brown to make it look like it's just parked up on a dirt road. I could have gone to town with some sort of greenery and some rocks and what have you, but I think, I think a cake like this speaks for itself. So I didn't want to go too mad on the, on the board decoration. Plus, I'm exhausted. <laughs> I don't think I had it in me to to sit and do any more detailed work. This is my second or third um, 3D realistic. I think it's my second uh, realistic vehicle cake. The other one I did was, um, the first ever one I did was a uh, motorbike. And that was easier because motorbikes are sort of rounder, aren't they? There aren't the the sharp edges. So that was that was that was a walk in the park compared to this one. But it's done, and overall, I am happy, and I've learned a few lessons in the world of sugar craft and cake making with this one. Can't wait till the customer sees it. And I'm just so glad I'm not there to see them cut it because that would just be soul destroying. <laughs> so there we are.